In this exercise, I'm going to look at the addition of adding the ability to add a pressure pad into the blanking process. So if I select this part, go to blank, here's the button here to be able to select faces to be used as a pressure pad. If I now come down and just maximize the area to add pressure pad options, you can see there's a, a total force currently being used of 152 kilonewtons on our pressure pad. If we calculate the blank using these values, uh, if I just map the edges of the face I've selected as the pressure pad, map those onto the part. So if I look directly down the z-axis, you can see there's some displacement at the top, uh, top there. So if I change the pressure being used on the pressure pad and recalculate the results, I'm now using a, a lesser pre uh, force, so 50 kilonewtons on the pressure pad. And if I also, again, just look in on that top, the, the material is able to move a little more, so there's a little more displacement in that top area using a lesser uh, force. So if I increase, put a higher force this time, so a total uh, force for the pressure pad of 200 kilonewtons. If you just look at the flange stress, it does increase, but not, not a great deal. If we just come in look at the area here where the displacement was originally. You can see that with increasing the force, the movement's being decreased. 